Hello everyone, uh, this is Vinod Kumar with your button. Today we'll talk about implementation of Delta Lotus architecture using a notebook in the end. And I'll provide a simple explanation of how, how we're going to implement it. Let's talk about uh, first thing how I will try to explain and then we'll uh, proceed with the execution of the notebook. Let's say um, I have multiple source system and I will try to bring on the uh, source system files into a landing zone. So in the case of cloud, you need to have a native uh, data uh, hosting to make the things faster. That's the reason we try to bring the data into the landing zone. So in uh, this is the complete lake house uh, actually and we'll have branch silver and gold over here and we will be uh, <coughs> having a look at how the data will move from land into uh, bronze to silver to gold and to the reporting so, so let's name it as bronze will be um, while moving from branch we will define schema uh, we will uh, store this we create a database and and we will the data into the bronze table. <coughs> in the silver table, we will uh, do the <coughs> transformation in, uh, in the silver DB table. And in the gold uh, DB, uh, we will have some aggregated columns along with the columns that are developed in the silver. So, this is the whole uh, lake house architecture. Lake house. And uh, this is the reporting to like power bi let's call the report <coughs> so we'll see this end to end in our example right now okay i have a notebook called end to end so first thing as i explained is we'll be pumping the data from um, available location to a landing zone from landing zone to cloud so let's say i have a file store in the file store i have a uh, uh, file called EMP CSV. Now I would like to create a new directory for landing <coughs> and I will try to copy this file store EMP.csv into the landing. Okay, so if you could see in big data landing, let's look whether this particular file is available in the landing. Yeah, this is available in the Okay, now since the uh, data is available in the landing zone, this part is completed. So for other files also, we will be doing the similar thing. Now we will try to load the data into the bronze zone. So for that, we need to create a bronze database first. And then we will try to read the data and store it as a table in the bronze database. <coughs> So I have created a bronze database. Now the next step that we are supposed to do is we need to read the file. Before reading a file, I would like to um, let you know we need to create a structure of the file that if you create a structure and try to reuse the structure, it will save a lot of time in the case of big data. Otherwise, if, whenever we are reading uh, a file, it will scan through the whole file and it will later waste a lot of time to define the schema. So to avoid that, we will try to um, create the structure and we will try to read the file saying this is the schema of this file and with the header. So now it, it is uh, faster. Okay, since it is available in the data frame, we can display the data. The next step that I would like to do is now we have the data in the data frame. Now we'll try to store the data or save the data as a table in the browser. Table. So this is the data frame that we have read, and now we'll be writing the, in the delta format into a EMP table in the append mode in the EMP table in the branch table. So you have, you have to mention the branch, otherwise it will be stored in user hive database. Deep. So, um, 
and now it will be stored as a EMP table in the front DB. If you could see, it is trying to store, store the data in the EMP <coughs> table in the branch DB. So by default, any any of the uh, databases will be available in user high variables. If you could see, this is the branch DB. Okay, inside the branch DB, we will see if there is an EMP table. This is the table. Okay, and in the EMP table, we will see what are the things. This is the delta log and this is the quadrant. If you could um, uh, watch my previous videos, I have uh, explained about this delta log and the parquet uh, file format and how the data is, will be stored in the delta data. So now the data is in the branch table. Now this part is also completed. Now we will try to focus on the silver and the gold. In the silver, first thing is once the data is stored into uh, branch DB, we create a new data frame okay, uh, by selecting the data from the DB and we we'll, um, check, we we'll actually uh, try to create the uh, <coughs> database for silver again. Now the silver database is created. Now we have to do the transformation. We will be doing the drop duplicates and drop in the transformation on this data frame and storing it into a new data. Okay. This is also done. Now we will store the silver table in the silver database. If you could see, this is the same format that we use while loading the branch database. Okay. But we have applied some transformation. <coughs> the data is stored in the silver okay this is as simple as that when you have to when you be using many transformations in the real time but since this is a simple example i try to use one or two transformations don't i think that these are the only transformations that we're going to use okay now we, talk, uh, we understand about land branch and silver now we'll understand about the code so in the code um, as I explained you again, we need to create a new database called code and as I explained you, we will try to create one or two applications. In this um, uh, like example, we will try to add one more aggregated column to on top of the, uh, all the columns in the silver. So I have added a take home uh, column with aggregations like salary plus commission is equal to take home. And now what we will do, we will try to store it in the gold data. So if we are using Spark SQL, we can write the SQL with the aggregation and store it in the gold data. If you could display this, you can see the take home column also in the data. So this, uh, once this is done, we will be store creating a new table called aggregations in the gold database and we will be using uh, append mode and uh, using the delta form. So if you could do this, it will store the data. So we have two modes, one is append, another one is override. Override means it will uh, remove the table uh, and create the new table. So this is done. We can see in the history how it is, uh, like how many versions are available. I will show that in the next step. So if you can see, now I have a table and by aggregation. This is the table. The so in the display system, if you could see, we have two versions. One is you have create table as select, another one is create a replace table as select. If you use the append mode, then it will be create table as select. If you use the overhead mode, it will be create a replace table as select. This is how the things will be stored in the history. So this is uh, this is the whole uh, explanation of everything that we have done over here in doing the example uh, that I, I wanted to explain to everyone. Hope you enjoy this